Okay, so look around this uh, 2002 on an O2 plate, uh, Land Rover Defender 90 TD5, genuine factory county station wagon. It's got the look of a Tomb Raider about it, this one, but apart from the uh, Tomb Raider without the roll cage and the, uh, and the big cumbersome roof rack on it, it isn't a genuine Tomb Raider though, it just looks like one. Um, fitted with a matching set of uh, General Grabber 82, size wise, they look like 235s. You know, I can't see a size on there, m and yeah, 23585R16s on boost alloys, so a full set of five of them. Uh, checker plate on the bonnet, the wing tops, front bumper corners, um, side steps and rear quarters. It's got the, uh, my memory isn't serving me well at the minute because I haven't had a Tomb Raider for two or three years, but I think they're the proper Tomb Raider side steps. Um, but I stand corrected if I'm wrong. Uh, snorkel on it. Any guards under the front? No. Full county station wagon spec, so you've got sunroof, alpine lights, tinted glass, sliding side windows, and it's a full six-seater. And it has got, uh, with the exception of a couple of things which we'll come to, it's got the uh, the Tomb Raider half leather and half sort of perforated, not perforated, um, bumpy seats they're called. I, I can't remember. <laughs> All I know is you can't buy them anymore from, uh, from Exmoor Trim. Um, Around the tail end, it's got uh, tow pack with electrics, NA, NAS spec, um, reverse light and rear fog light by the look of it, clear lenses on the back. Um, and that's about it. Right, let's go around and pick out some good bits and bad bits. It's actually generally quite good. One or two bits of electrolytic reaction, a couple of scratches here and there, but uh, no more than you'd expect on a 13 year old, well, 11 year old. God, what's wrong with me today? 11 years old. Um, Right, on the bonnet we've got a couple of scratches and up here and around the back and around there, just a couple of minor scratches here and there. I presume it's had a roof rack on at some point and someone's used this to stand them. Uh, around the front end, it's all okay. Um, looking down the sides, apart from a few dinks in the barrel side on the passenger door, uh, near side front wing looks fine. All good here. Scuttle corner all looks very good indeed. One tiny bit of bubbling just coming up there by the vent hinge but uh, hasn't broken through at all. Screen looks fine, roof looks good, A post looks fine, near side door, he has a few dents in the barrel side there, there, there and there. Uh, just obviously where people close it uh, incorrectly. And a little bit of electrolytic reaction coming up, looks like it's been touched in just down there on the base of the, uh, the near side door. Now inside here, all the proper station wagon trim is all still extant, headlining's all in place. As I say, it's got the um, the Tomb Raider style, half leather and half, I can't remember what you call this, bobbly, I don't know, I don't know what it is, but uh, um, it's got the correct seat backs and all the rear seats, but the seat bases, presumably they've worn out on this or been stolen because they've been replaced with standard um, Defender, uh, uh, Defender vinyl seat bases. So unfortunately you can't get this material from Exmoor Trim, unfortunately. Um, full easy clean front interior the full width mat and everything it's got a really nice radio cd with um, auxiliary input as well for your ipod ipod sorry about all the mistakes today must be losing it um <coughs> right near side door frame bottom frame feels fine no movement in the hinges near side rear wing a uh, little bit of bubbling on the tub top trim there, and again there, and a bit of electrolytic reaction and paint loss just up here, and a tiny bit there as well, but otherwise all good. It's okay underneath there. Uh, around the tail end, usual electrolytic reaction on the tailgate. Um, up here, down there, in the usual spots. Inside here it's got checker plate rear floor. Uh, it's also got the um, bulkhead removal bar, which this is a 2002 register, it's a 2001 model, so I can't remember if it would have had that from factory or not. I think it's a change over year, so, but it's anyway, it's in there now. Um, rear seats are the correct, um, the correct style ones for, say, for a Tomb Raider. Well, this isn't a Tomb Raider, so I keep stressing. Um, tailgate, it's nice all down here. Bottom of the tailgate frame, there's a hole there that I can get three fingers in. But otherwise feels pretty good. It's just really it's, uh, just there that it's uh, started to rust through in the bottom frame. But it still holds the tailgate up. No, uh, no real movement in the uh, 
hinges or anything. Oh, there is one thing, the rear cross member, probably I'd say in a couple of years time is going to need replacement because it's just started to delaminate here and there's a tiny hole just there where my fingertip is. All these holes should be there, uh, but that one shouldn't. So it's, it doesn't, it feels solid still around it, poking it. It's not coming away my fingers or anything, but that section really could do with either replace, either, either repair or the whole cross member replace. But uh, um, it is, uh, it is starting to, uh, starting to go a little bit um, just there. Um, looking down the offside again, apart from a couple of, uh, a couple of minor dinks in the barrel side on the driver's door. All looks very straight indeed. Yeah, it's had a roof rack on it because there's a few scratch marks and lost bits of paint loss up here and towards along the top of the roof here as well. So it has had a roof rack on at some point. Um, offside rear wing, otherwise all good. Driver's door, yes, a few dents in the barrel side there, there, there and there and what have you. A post, good. Offside front wing, all good. Scuff the corner looks very good again. A little bit of bubbling just coming up by the vent hinge there. And in here, oh, just notice a slight nick in the um, uh, in the passenger seat base just there. Yeah, the driver's seat backrest, the um, this rubbery material has come apart, so it's uh, got a sort of long split just there. Uh, if you can see that. Um, driver's door looks like it's been repaired here. couple of holes in the bottom of the driver's door frame not in need of imminent replacement and no movement in the hinges really but say a couple of very minor holes in the bottom of the frame but no more than that that's about it I think my name's Simon you can reach me in the office on 0118 907 1495 or you can go to our website which is www.motodrome.co.uk for any further info we take part exchanges we take Visa and MasterCard credit cards and debit cards with a 2% surcharge for credit cards, and we can have it shipped or delivered anywhere like in the world, obviously at a cost. That's about it. End.